Hey everyone, it's Kelsey aka Real with Mrs. B and I'm a little late uh, again, <laughs> but it's April 8th so I'm going to go ahead and update our budget on everydollar.com. I have saved all of our transactions on a sticky note for you guys so I can input them. But first big news is I updated the amount of our student loans right now. We're at $40,058.95 which means that we have paid off over $25,000 and 38.5%. So that is awesome. And I feel like it's just going to go quicker and quicker now because we only have our consolidated loans left. Sorry if you hear our dishwasher, by the way, in the background. That's what that noise is. But hopefully you can hear me fine. Let's go ahead and get started. The first one is our apartment. We should be getting our renewal um, soon for our lease and it sounds like it's going to go up 3% but um, I just don't think that it's beneficial for us right now to move so we'll probably just be stuck um, paying that extra amount but uh, we do love where we live so gotta do what you gotta do so um, on the first um, I got Taco Bell we got back I was at a forensics tournament for state that day and I was gone from 6.30 in the morning until uh, 9 o'clock at night. That's the loud dishwasher. <laughs> um, so I grabbed Taco Bell on the way home. I'm just going to put that under my personal money. And then the next day I went to lunch with my girlfriend. We got some Mexican food. It was really good and totally worth it. So that was on the second that I'll put under restaurants and I gave leftovers to John. Um, I got some good coupons for Victoria's Secret. Um, I needed a new bra because one of them, the wire was coming out. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I had a coupon that I could get two free panties with the purchase of a bra and I had a $16 off um, gift card so it was totally worth $35 that's going under beauty and clothing next up is we went grocery shopping just at Aldi and spent under $50 so we're on track there that was on the second and groceries all right and then I filled up my car the day after Usually I do it the day of, but kind of forgot. <laughs> um, so that is under gas. All right. Next up, my husband went to Walgreens, and we haven't taken out his money in cash yet. Um, so he, oops, forgot. I'm putting it in the wrong spot goes down here. John's personal. What? Oh, just John personal. <laughs> that was on the fourth. All right. Next up is, this is automatically taken out, is our insurance. Auto insurance. And that was on the fourth as well. Next up, we went to this really good burrito place. Uh, we drove down to Chicago area to go to see Lily Singh, AKA Superwoman, if you know who she is. Um, it was an amazing time. She just came out with a new book. She had uh, pre-signed pre books and then like a show and then we got to see her and take a picture with her. Um, and it was it was awesome. So we I went straight from work, drove down there, and we went to out to eat in the area, and it was really good. Uh, next up on the fifth, my husband grabbed a case of beer. So the fifth, and that's going under drinks. On the fifth. Um, I actually had, I had to take off of work because I had an opportunity for, oops, 
for an interview and I was from 10 until 2.30. It was very intense. This is for Teachers Pay Teachers, by the way. Um, I bought uh, this trivia game thing with all of these like World War II questions for my students. Um, so this is gonna go under school supplies. But anyway, I had to take off the day and I probably won't get paid for it because I don't have to pay time off, um, but I had, had to go and um, it was a long day and I ended up getting Culver's on the way back and actually that should be the fifth because it was on Wednesday. Um, and I'm just gonna put that under my personal money as well. Um, all right, and then the interview went well, by the way, <laughs> um, but it was, it was difficult. Um, it was with the other six, six candidates and we had to do lessons in front of one another and have conversations, do writing activity and interview. I mean, it was intense. So I got a call back for a second interview though. So I'm hoping that it goes well. That was my husband's parking. Next up, he got coffee at McDonald's. That was on the 6th. That I'm gonna put under um, his personal money. All right, and then he got paid on the 7th. So I gotta change this to income, change the date. It's John's income. All right. And that's about what I expected. Next up, my student loan minimum payment went down because we paid off the consolidated, or I mean the Stafford loans. So we just have the consolidated. So it's only required $47.27. I just have that taken out so we get a little less um, on our interest rate because if you have it set up, um, they have that little incentive. <laughs> um, this is getting drinks. We had a friend come over. We had drinks. It was a good time. And then because she was coming over, we ended up getting Papa Murphy's and she brought over dessert and it was very much worth it. <laughs> if you have a Papa Murphy's by you, you know what I'm talking about. All right, and then this is where I have to add something. So completely forgot that we had to pay our renter's insurance this month. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna put 138 here for renter's insurance and I will have to, cause we're over budget there and I might not make $220 because of um, taking off that day. So I will make the adjustments later, it will be all right. Um, so it was $138 for the entire year, which I will never not have renter's insurance anymore after having our apartment fire. So make sure that you get renter's insurance. <laughs> that was not fun, so. All right, and then I went ahead today and paid our phone bill. Our phone bill went down this month because um, my phone is now paid off. So what is this under? Yeah, okay. All right, and then lastly, I went ahead and paid Netflix. All right, and that's a standard amount. All right, so that is all of the transactions that I have for today. Um, besides the fact that I forgot about renter's insurance, we're pretty good on everything else. Um, in the next week, I'm going to have to pay for our taxes. So a big chunk of money is going to be coming out of our emergency fund. I, our emergency fund is our savings. So I've just been putting everything there. I have been considering lately um, putting all of our sinking funds just in our emergency fund and then tracking them somehow. I guess let me know what you guys think about that. I just, it's starting to be a lot of money, a cash that we are keeping inside of our apartment. Um, and it's very easy to just transfer money from our savings to our checking when we need it. So um, it's something that I'm considering doing and it'll make things a little bit easier. 
Otherwise, um, I did find out that our energy bill is like $3 less this month, so that's cool. We'll get that later. And go down groceries and check there. Restaurants, we are definitely a little bit over at this point, uh, so we'll have to adjust accordingly throughout the month. And that's pretty much everything so far. So I hope that your April is going great so far and I will catch you guys soon in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.